Hi, my name is Anna Lipsenst. I am SharePoint Project Manager at Global Intrinsic Management Solutions. Today, I would like to show you how to use embed code features in SharePoint 2013. For example, I have the article that I created here and the title of the article is who has the best SharePoint workflow product so if I would like to turn it into a SharePoint page first I will go to file share input and it will ask me generate HTML code to embed this file I click generate Here you can adjust the width of the page and the height of the of the page. So for a some for a symbol, I would like to put um, let's see 580 and the width just about 450. Then after that, I will copy the code. And then close after that I will go to my SharePoint for example I would like to create a page on in information technology size subsite SharePoint uh. So when I create a new page I click the insert tab on the ribbon and I click the input code on the ribbon as well. Then I paste the code and I insert. Let's say. So because the pay is too the right now it turned into a page for me because the page is so um, it's so small so I can switch back to the word document to adjust to adjust the the width and the and the height let's see what is it right here uh,
Does it look better? Yes. So right after you do that, it will turn on the, uh, it will become the article page. And if you see that you can scroll down the space right now, there's eight pages. You see that? And uh, then you are able to download a copy, input information, and print to PDF. For example, convert it to PDF and then click here to be PDF of your document. But I don't want to do so. So let's go home. So here you see the page SharePoint Workflow product. Thanks for watching. And again, my name is Anna Lipson. I'm SharePoint Project Manager at Global Intrinsic Management Solution. Thanks for watching.